All right there guys, Fat Terry there. Welcome back to another video down in the boonies today. Only because I couldn't go to the dance today because the kids are in school because Green Bay School District's fucking retarded. Because every time that we had Thanksgiving, you know, when I was in school, I'm going to flip around here, hang on. You know, because every time that I was in school, you know, every year, and by the time that we got to Thanksgiving, we had like a week off. Uh, what the fuck? Or at least five days. Um, I'm kind of walking on wet dirt here, so I don't want to slip. I technically shouldn't be down here, but... You know, like I said, we had like five fucking days off at mall, you know, at least. Um, and I was just ranting to myself too. You know, back to the fucking time when the fucking bike shop straightened the rear axle on my bike. Um... So they straightened it, and then it fucking eventually broke, which you guys knew that. And then I had to bring it in. Bike shop sat on my bike for a fucking week, and they fucked it up. You know, the hub they put back together fine. They fucked, uh, you know, the hoop, you know, the part of the wheel that the tire sits on. They fucked the paint up on that. And they're like, we didn't do that. I was like, yeah, you did. Because I didn't do it. If I would have done it, I said, I would have told you guys that I did that. You know, because they took the paint off. I just broke a branch. Move it down there. You know, because I would have told you guys that I would that I did that, and don't worry about it. You know, I'll deal with it. They're like that. We didn't do that. I'm like, yeah, you guys did, because I didn't have the fucking bike for a week. Because of you idiots. I'm starting to think that I should go back to where I was going. You know, JV Cycle. Yeah, they're fucking expensive. Yeah, they're expensive, but I thought about, after seeing that, I thought about going back to fucking J&B. For Sharon Howard. And, you know, tell them, I'm not coming back here. You know, you're losing my business. And they'll be like, why? I'm like, because you fucked my bike up. They're like, well, it's, pos you know, possession's nine-tenths of the law. So it's a, technically our bike. I'm like, then you fucking fix it and it's going to be all on you. Now I'm going to take my bike back. I'll pay you for the fucking axle. And I'm going elsewhere. They're like, you can't with that sticker on your, you know, our sticker on your bike. I'm like, I'll take the fucking thing off. You know, I'm, I know how to do that shit. Just take a fucking razor blade, peel the fucking corner up and pull it off. Then take some goo gone if needed and clean up any sticker residue, you know, the glue. Trust me. I see that shit. I know how hard it is to fix fucked up paint. Or have to paint something. It's hard. It's a lot of work. You know, you have to fucking... It's a lot of prep work.
and it is you know whether it's painting a fucking bike painting a bike wheel you know painting a car it's the same shit you know it's like when I painted the fucking Harl which I wish I never fucking done that fucking sanded it down there are spots I sanded down to almost a frame which I should have yeah I'm starting to get mud all over my shoes I'm going to have to wear them in the house or I'm going to wear them in the house Um, you know, like I said, painting anything is a lot of fucking work. It's hard. And now I have to repaint my fucking wheel, and that's going to be harder yet because I'm going to have to do it while it's all fucking put together, you know, where I can, or if those are just all apart, took apart, I could sand the whole thing, you know, take everything apart, take the hub out, spokes out, rim strip off, sand the whole thing, spray the whole thing and then put it back together but that's the that's the issue i don't know how to build wheels you know if i want to make it easy i just cut the spokes and have the fucking bike shop rebuild the goddamn wheel but you know whatever i'll just i'll deal with it and figure out how to do it so what the bike shot did when I picked my my wheel up or when I picked my bike up I should say because I took the whole bike in because the axle was broke inside the hub and I could go you know if I took the wheel or the wheel off the fucking axle would spin inside the You know, would spin inside the fucking hub because it's free. Um, so that's why I didn't bring the wheel in. I mean, I could have just brought the wheel in and threw an axle in there to hang the bike because then I could just ride the BMX bike for a week. But... No, I just took the whole bike in and let them deal with the fucking issue. I should have said, no, this broke because I should have told him, no, you're paying everything. And he would have been like, why? I said, because you guys fucked it up in the first place. So they're like, how? I was like, you guys, or the axle got bent or was became bent because I was riding it, you know, because it's, you know, because I was riding it because everything around in Green Bay is rough. And I said, you guys straightened it. Put it back together. Not knowing that you had to heat it up. You guys put even more stress than what was already on it when it rolled fine with the axle bent. Which, yeah, with an, a bent axle, axle eventually would have caused more issues. But you guys made it worse yet because you bent the axle back straight. Not thinking it's hard and steel, you got to heat hard and steel to bend it at all. Whether you're purposely trying to make it bent or straighten it, you got to heat it up. Have to, have to, have to. And then it fucking broke again, so that's why I had to bring it in. You know, I told you guys that. I should have said, no, you guys are eating the 30, you know, the $60 or whatever it was. You guys are eating it. And they ought to question it and question why. I said, because you guys, that axle broke mainly because of me riding it too. But you guys, you know, added fuel to the fucking fire. And made it worse than what it was. It would have been fine for a while with it bent.
but whatever but anyway guys i'm gonna end the video here and i'm gonna bike a little bit and get back home because i gotta help my dad cleaning all that shit for thanksgiving so and we we're going up by my grandma's so too today so because my dad saw my grandpa's uh welding table and get rid of that and hopefully bring a couple things home and whatever because we got a cabinet to store these couple things so but anyway guys i'll see you guys in the next video